listen to that fucking music, guys. It is absolutely amazing. Welcome to one of the most exciting moments for me on this channel. Welcome to Let's Play Shovel Knight. Why am I so excited about this? Well, I, I remember hearing about this game over a year ago, watching a couple of people on YouTube play it like demo style. Looks very Mega Man-ish, combined with like Castlevania and DuckTales and other assorted NES classics. And in the very vein of NES greatness, this game follows suit, but in a very new and indie kind of way. So, I said it was going to be a short Let's Play following up Metroid Prime 2, and this is it right here. Shovel Knight. Playing it on the Wii U. Let's do this. Start the game. I'm not even going to look at the options. Let's just fucking do this. God, I'm excited for this. Adventure. Okay, so we get a bunch of save files. That's fine. Um, let's do it, dude. Start the game up, dude. Start the game up, dude. Oh, did I press the wrong button? Oh, wow, these buttons are a little different than I thought they were going to be. All right, let's go with uh, G, because I am the funky G. And, uh, yeah. Whew. Let's get it cracking. Look at his Shovel Knight. He looks awesome. Just choose this profile. Do I, did I stutter? Oh, my God. Here we go. Long ago, the lands un were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. That doesn't seem exactly like they're opposites. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet brought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. Oh no, not Shield Knight! His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. Of farming. Because he had a shovel. It was built in. But without the champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her order of no quarter. That's looking very Mega Man-esque right now. Now, the tower is unsealed. And devastation moves. A new adventure is about to begin. One of awesome excitement and amazing music. Ready? Oh, this is so Mega Man. I love it already. Here we go, guys. Mega Man. Oh, listen to that music. It's so badass. Right now, I'm just kind of getting a, a feel for the controls. We only really have two buttons that do anything. One shovels, one jumps. Uh, to point that thing down, you hold down. All right, let's do it. Let's make, let's, let's do it. We, can we shovel this shit? You damn right we can. Shovel for gems. Oh, they taste so good. All right, so just like DuckTales, we can point downward and bounce on things. Fuck, but I got to get the timing down. Oh, listen to that music. That is some of the best music I have heard in a long time. Listen to that shit, guys. I feel like it's a travesty if I talk over it. Anyways, this is... I mean, I've already pretty much said it here in the beginning, but this is one of those games I've been waiting a long time to play. Since it came out, and when it came out, I didn't buy it right away because I knew everyone and their mama was going to be Let's Playing it, and I'm like, man, I want to Let's Play it. <laughs> I really wanted to Let's Play it. But I was also doing a bunch of other things on my channel at the time, so I didn't want to kind of stop those just to play this. So I held off on playing this at all. And man, I'm already, I'm already, you can tell, I already enjoy this. I don't even have to talk about what I'm doing. It's just, it's that intuitive. I'm just, it, I'm jumping right into this fucking awesome. Look at that shit. It even looks like Mega Man with its bubbles. Oh, okay. Apparently bubbles hurt. thought maybe it was going to be we had to got to do the bouncy bounce. Alright. That's something we're going to have to get used to. Can we press a button to do the bouncy bounce? It'd be nice if we could press a button for that. And whatever. What is this? What do we got here? Oh, okay. Maybe it's a checkpoint? I don't know. I'm going to go with that's probably a checkpoint. Listen to this fucking music. Oh, this is going to be my number one soundtrack of the year. I know we're already in 2015, but number one soundtrack of 2014 right here. No arguments. No contest. So good. Lives up to the 8-bit awesomeness that Mega Man always was and always will be. Uh-oh. Dragon. Oh, 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 oh. Bubbles, bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Okay. Do we have to, like, bounce on your head? 
Okay, yeah, we do. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Fucking, uh, uh, precision bouncing. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. Give me monies. Hell yeah. Okay. Dig, dig those shovel pieces. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Suck on that, Skeletor. Skeletor ass bitch. Oh god. And I'm learning quickly. Play it with, uh, play with the D-pad, not the joystick. That's one upside to this game. But that's the feel of the NES you want. You want to be able to play with the D-pad. Screw joysticks. Um, what do we do here? Oh, shit. What the? Okay. Just blew up an entire wall of dirt. I'll take it. So even though I haven't played this game before, I, I kind of figured it's not a very long game. It is an indie game. It is an NES style game. So because of that, I knew it wouldn't take very long, and hence the reason why we're doing this now and not playing other games that I have to play on my channel, and this is kind of maybe a little out of left field. But I figure no one's going to give a shit if the game is fucking awesome, which this game certainly is. I have a feeling this is more of a secret. Is it? Is it a secret? There's like a note piece of paper with a note on it. I wonder if that's a secret. Did I find secrets already? Am I already a secret finder? I found a musical note thing. Yay. I don't know what that does, but apparently I remember seeing those on the title screen. They must be a collectible. There must be the secret collectible of the game. Definitely, there's definitely going to be multiple playthroughs, playthroughs of this game on my behalf, on, on my part, but obviously you won't have to watch me do all those playthroughs unless you really want to, but I probably will just play this on my own time once I'm done beating it, of course. But the first virgin playthrough I thought would be fun for you guys to watch me do, and I missed that gem. Can we get the enemy to respawn? I don't think so. Whoa, 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 that is not what I was going for. Hey, look, a, a wall chicken. There's your Castlevania reference right there. Wall chicken. All right, let's kill all these bitches. Get out of my life. Now, did he respawn? I'm going to get over here and get this enemy to respawn. Hold on. No, he didn't respawn. Sad world we live in, bro. Oh, no, that gem's disappearing. Oh, no. Never let gems disappear. Never let them go. Oh, well, we missed that big-ass red gem. What are you going to do? I don't know, I just feel like getting all the gems is just becoming my life goal right now. God, jumping up and down on shovel thing and shoveling things with the down it with just the down attack. It's so fucking satisfying. I like it a lot. It just feels good. On the whole. Like, ugh. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Ugh. Yeah. Feels good on the whole, baby. The preparation H hole. I will pass on that gem just to go in this secret hole. We're gonna secret hole the shit out of this. And then bouncy. Bouncy, Oh yeah, now how do we get back? Thank you for reappearing, Bubbles. Now I don't think I have to keep holding down once I, do I have to keep holding down? No, nope, once I press down, it automatically starts pointing down. Yeah, okay. I was thinking I had to hold down every time I jumped, but I think if I just hold it, he just stays bouncing. Okay, actually, that's a really nice mechanic. For, for some reason, I thought I had to keep pressing down every time I bounced. That is not the case. Okay, hello, shovel. Shovel? Skella. Skella shovel man. Nice to meet you. See you later. All right, cool. God, this game is just... It feels great. It just feels great to play. Also, I missed the, I missed the ladder or what? How, how did that happen? How did I miss a ladder? Oh, secrets, man. I'm the champion of secrets. This game cannot hide its secrets from me. I am the secret finder of all. What did I get? What did I get? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me all the gems. All the gems, bitches. All the gems. Oh god, it's so good. It so feels just feels great. Feels great. Yeah, suck on that. Bonesy, 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 bonesy. Hey! Oh man, oh man. I'm having too much fun with this. I can't even, I can't even properly do commentary for this. It's just me completely gushing and having too much nerdgasms all over the fucking place. Cause it's just, oh shit. This is just too good. This is just too fucking good. Got him. Got him. Give me all your gems. Get out of here, Skeletor. 
Yeah, suck up fat cock. Get your head out of here. Haha, <laughs> that shit bounced around. That was fun. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, alright, okay, okay. So those little, the little black marks up there are called, uh, or they say boss. So I'm assuming that means the boss has six marks. Like six, uh, six thingies of health. It's kind of like Castlevania where you can see the boss's health the whole stage. And then when you actually get to the boss, that's the boss's health bar. Kind of like that. I mean, I said it had a bunch of basically, uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, basically. I said basically a lot, except that I don't It's got a lot of throwback homages. That's the word I'm looking for. Homages to old games. And Castlevania and Mega Man are not a bad way to go. They really aren't. I mean, it's got the music, the tight controls. Oh, shit, shit, shit! I forgot to press down. No! Shit. Oh man, that that hurt. That hurt a lot, guys. I gotta remember to press down when I wanna bounce. Bouncing is down. I don't even have to hold it. Stop holding it. I keep holding it thinking I have to. I don't have to. Holding it is not required. It's just like something you gotta ingrain in your mind when you're playing this. It's not a hard it's not a hard concept to get down, it's just a concept I have to get down. Alright, alright, okay, alright. So when I died, it seemed like it said I could recover my stuff that I lost. So let's hope that I can do exactly that. Because I want my gems back, damn it. I worked hard for those gems. I want all of them back, damn it. Get out of here, you fucking slimy ass horse. Get out of here. Get out of here. Slimy ass hoe. See if we can get my gems back. I want my gems back. Now, these... I don't think I can get them all. Unless I, like, time this crazy. Alright, check this shit, check this shit, check it. Yeah! That's how you fucking do it. Alright. Got all my gems back. Yeah. I like that idea that if you lose your gems, you can go back for them if you want. If you're a gem whore like me. And I'm a gemmy ass whore. You know me. Gem and whore. OG. Oh, Break that shit. Give me that wall chicken. Mmm, wall chicken. And that'll be the last checkpoint. And I only know that because the thing when I died showed that there was one more checkpoint. Does that mean this is the boss? <gasps> it's the Black Knight. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. I will break it across your goddamn face. All right, six bars of health it is. We just, ah, fuck you, yeah. I'm assuming since this is the first boss, it's going to be relatively... Oh, God. Oh, God. He's got my powers. He has all my powers. Okay. He, he, uh, he, he pulled out all... He's pulling out all the stops. Yeah, suck on that, bitch. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on with this. Come on with this. Okay. Okay, he's, he does that three times. Let's pay attention now. Let's pay attention. And he laughs like he's the fucking champ. Okay, then he shoots purple. All right. All right. I'm hoping they're like... I mean, I'm assuming... I should say hoping... I'm assuming he's like a Mega Man boss in that he, uh, kind of... Oh, fuck. He got me. I'm assuming he's like a Mega Man boss in that he's not 100%, like, telegraphable. Like, he, or he, I say he can telegraph his moves, but he doesn't do the same shit over and over again. Um, does the wall chicken respawn? It does. Not that I need it again. He's I just respawn, but it's there. Alright. Let's get my shit back. Can we, uh... Speed of the process. Okay, cool. This game already knows what I want to do. It's like, you don't want to read that again, do you? No, you don't. Save me some time, game. You already know I read that shit. All right. Just fucking pound this fool. Pound this fool like a goddamn $2 fucking whore. Just fucking pound him. Oh, we're ru we're raking his face right now. Look at that shit. I whooped your ass, Black Knight. Suck on my shovel. Suck on my shovel. Suck on my shiny ass, dirt-covered shovel, bitch. I don't know how it's shiny if it's covered in dirt, but suck at that shovel. 
That was beautifully done. And I bid you adieu, good sir. He didn't actually die, so he may come back later. Oh, nice. And we even have, like, a golden axe moment here where we're sitting at the fire, resting after a hard day's work. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next boss is going to have a lot of health, or that's just a generic thing. Whoa! Is that Shield Knight? Is he okay? Or is this a dream? What's happening right now? Catcher? Oh, shit. Okay. Catch. Catcher! Just got to stand in the way, right? Yes! It's like catching the frisbee in California games. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. I mean, I caught her. Yay for me. Oh, now we have to wake up. Wake up, Shovel Knight. Dig your fire out. Feet accomplished. Only you. Oh, I got a feet. Okay, cool. Now what? Do we just move on with our life? See you later. All right, it does have a world map where we actually get to choose where to go next. Awesome! Oh my goodness, guys. This game, words cannot express just my excitement to continue on with this. And yes, I am wrapping up. That is going to conclude this first episode. I know it's short and sweet, but this Let's Play is going to be short and sweet, so I'm kind of okay with doing a little bit shorter episodes. Probably just going to do one stage per episode, or, you know, if it's really short, I'll do two, but I'm going to keep these well under half an hour if I can, depending on how difficult things turn out. Of course, there's always the times when I fail a lot and have to redo a lot of things. I'm not even going to explore this right now. I'm just going to leave this all to the imagination. And yes, this is going to continue to be my daily Let's Play. So you'll see the next episode of this. Well, you won't see. No, you'll see it tomorrow. I'll, I'll have this tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace!